Okay, uh, thanks everyone for being here today. Just as a reminder, uh, one of our MLAs does have a uh, bit of a hearing impediment, so if, uh, she isn't able to answer your question right away. It's not because she's being rude. You'll just have to patiently ask again. And uh, Drew, I believe we'll get started with you. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Evan. Good afternoon, noon. My name is Drew Barnes, and I'm the Wild Rose MLA proudly representing Cypress Medicine Hat. Thank you for joining us today. There is no doubt that this past week has been a challenging one for the Wild Rose Caucus. It has also been a difficult time for Albertans at large. Many Albertans feel confused and let down by their elected officials. This is understandable. But I want to assure every person who put their trust in us, who volunteered for us, and who believed in us, that the Wild Rose Caucus is united and hard at work, building a better future for all Albertans. As we enter what could be a very difficult economic period for our province, we need to fight for the values and principles the Wild Rose Party stands for more than ever. Fiscal responsibility, a debt-free Alberta, and an accountable and efficient government, a government that Albertans expect and deserve. I am pleased to be standing here with our great team of MLAs <coughs> and all these Wild Rose supporters and all great Albertans who understand and support our mission and our mandate. Our caucus has met. We have consulted with the party's executive committee and I am pleased to announce we have a new interim leader. This MLA is one of the most talented, qualified and respected Albertans in the province. First elected in 1993, her efforts to protect children resulted in the Protection of Children Involved in Prostitution Act, which recognized child prostitutes as victims of sexual abuse in need of protection. She received the Canadian Hero Award from Reader's Digest for her work on this issue. During her time as Solicitor General, she launched the High Risk Offender website and Canada's first Amber Alert program. As Minister of Child Services, she passed legislation protecting drug endangered children and worked on many strategies to reduce family violence and bullying. One year ago, because of her ad advocacy and the work of the Isaac Foundation, she helped save Alina Sedonik, a girl from St. Albert, mm -hmm. suffering from a rare disease. Yes. <laughs> and in 2010, she also successfully passed the mandatory reporting of Child Pornography Act. As health critic for the Wild Rose Party, she has been steadfast in both fighting for patients and in exposing waste at Alberta Health Services. Yeah. 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 Finally, on a personal note, anyone who has met her knows there's no one with a bigger heart and more integrity. She is our rock. She is deeply dedicated to her work and will never stop doing what she believes is best for Alberta. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my sincere pleasure to announce the new interim leader of the Wild Rose Party, MLA for Calgary Fish Creek, Heather Forsythe.
Wow. <laughs> I'm just absolutely, honestly overwhelmed at the people that are here today. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much for that wonderful introduction. And thank you, Drew and Shane and Pat. Our friend Rick wishes he could be here today, but his fam but has had family commitments. And I want to tell everyone he sends his support to all for uh, to all of us. Folks, you are looking at Albertans who are here for the right reason. And I'm just so proud to serve with such principled people, truly. And I see the, say this with all sincerity. I am humbled to be standing here today with our MLAs and with fellow Albertans. This is a pivotal moment for Alberta. In the pursuit of power, democracy has been swept aside. Voters expected us to hold the government to account and to call out the PCs when they've misspent, they've misused, and they've misrepresented it. Albertans, <laughs> Albertans expect us to be the check and the watchdog against privilege and entitlement. This is an invaluable role for Wild Rose to play. There is no doubt an overwhelming number of Albertans feel hurt, who feel that the most noble notion of public life has been shattered. Folks, let there be no questions. Albertans did not lose their opposition. Yeah. 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 Their opposition has been renewed and is now refocused on doing a better job more than ever. It's not just the 440,000 Albertans who voted for us in the last election. It's for all Albertans who expect the very best from their politicians. Albertans, Albertans deserve an effective opposition, and they need a party that is fiercely committed to putting forward their positive ideas that will lead to even stronger and better Alberta. We will be the fiscally conservative conscience for this province. This means establishing needs before wants, and always remembering that it is our job to put the interest of Albertans <coughs> first, not politicians or special interests first. This means a more effective government, it means working towards real balanced budgets, and it means keeping promises to put a stop to borrowing. You will continue to see us lay out ideas to better achieve this vision. We will work tirelessly to ensure Alberta has the tools in place to keep our markets free and to grow our economy. We will speak up for the healthcare professionals and the patients to ensure that they are treated fairly and that all Albertans have timely access to the care that they deserve. And we will speak up. <laughs> and we will speak up for the children, parents, and teachers to ensure we maintain a world class education system. As a team of MLAs, you will see a tight-knit group who will continue our work touching all areas of the province in energy and in an environment, in municipal affairs, infrastructure, agriculture, and justice. These MLAs will never give up on you. You will always and will always work to ensure the trust of Albertans. We are not, and I'm going to repeat that, we are not giving up the fight for Albertans. We are here to ensure Albertans, we are here to assure Albertans 
that are, we are going to continue to hold this government accountable. Folks, in the coming days, Albertans will hear more from both myself and members of the party about the upcoming leadership race. But I will say this to you today. We are MLAs and at a party that represents all Albertans. We know in our hearts that what we are doing is best for Albertans. As many of you know, we've had a rough few days saying goodbye to staff who worked very hard for us. And I want to let them know, I, we want to let them know how much we appreciate everything that they have done. I want to thank Albertans and I want to thank Canadians who have rallied behind us. We will not forget, nor will we give up. There has been much upheaval over the last number of weeks, but let's not forget that while politics may be at their worst, this is the time of the year when Albertans consistently show their best. Albertans are generous, Albertans are kind, and they do not hesitate to care for the most vulnerable. And it's those Albertans that I am so proud and we are so proud to represent. With that, <laughs> with that, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and all the best in the new year. And thank you so much for attending. <laughs> and with that, we'll uh, take questions. Heather, are, do you want to be the permanent leader? Tell me that again. Do you want to be the permanent leader, not just interim? Interim. I've said that I would be the interim leader. I'm looking forward to uh, a leadership race that uh, will be discussed as we move forward. Uh, I am rem truly amazed at the Albertans that are already stepping up uh, to take over the role. Are you expecting an early election, like in the spring? Well, I'm going to let Shane answer that, but no. Uh, this, uh, this government has uh, legislation, and Shane, go ahead. Well, uh, clearly we wouldn't expect the Premier to, to break, break elections law. We clearly wouldn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, we're <laughs> so, so we're planning, of course, uh, according to the 2016 uh, fixed election date. There was a lot of MLAs that campaign on fixed election dates, and clearly they would want to maintain uh, their argument on that. There was a poll out today, I'm sure you saw, that, that has uh, the Tories up, I believe, uh, 24 points. Uh, does that trouble you? Does, it, does that suggest to you that people have lost faith in the party given the departure? Well, I can tell you as someone who's been in this game for 22 years, I uh, don't rely on polls. I saw what happened in the last polls when we were going to form government. Polls are just a small section of Albertans. I have to tell you that uh, in the last week, I have been overwhelmed, brought to tears, about the calls that I've received across this province, across our country, and as far as Ireland, telling us not to give up, and we're not going to give up. Uh, this truly has revigorated uh, myself, my colleagues, our candidates, and quite frankly, Albertans feel that their democratic right, is, right has been taken away from them. And, you know, you've got to love Albertans. When they're angry, they speak up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think so. I, 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 there's no question. Um, no question what they thought that they were going to achieve has not been achieved. And, uh, you know, I mean, I think we need to call a spade a spade. This isn't a merger. Not a merger. Um, I told my colleagues it was floor crossing. Uh, I was there in 2010. I know what people do. And they're angry. And uh, it's... Uh, <coughs> I talked to somebody yesterday who's a, a, a strategist and, and has been a strategist for people uh, all over this country and all over North America, and he said in his 30 years of being a strategist, he's never seen such outrage by people, and it's shattered uh, uh, our democratic process, and uh, I guess you reap what you sow. So this will backfire on them in your view? 
Um, I think that I, I haven't had a lot of time to go on social media, to be honest with you, because I've uh, been kept very busy. We've been kept very busy. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, but uh, from the calls I'm getting and from what people are reporting on social media, uh, I don't think it's a real f nice time for anybody right now. Shane, what's your future with the party? Well, I've uh, talked with my constituents, and they've uh, told me that I should stay put, and I'm staying put. And of course, uh, as a, a we also, as a caucus, made the decision that uh, Drew Barnes is going to be the whip of our caucus, and I'm going to be the house leader. And I think uh, we're all taking extra roles on. I have six critic roles, so that's what I'm going to be focused on. <laughs> <laughs> Are you for the leadership? I haven't discussed this with my my family or my constituents, so I'm, I'm leaving all options on the table. But at this point, I'm focused on our role as official opposition. Heather, Heather, after after Carrie and Ian crossed the floor, Danielle infamously said that there would not be any more floor crossings, and then of course there were. Can you now unequivocally say that there will be no more floor crossings? <laughs> 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 well, yeah, I, I've seen the repercussions for what's happened. Uh, I I I've. I'm not uh, going there, to be honest with you. I, I just don't have any uh, energy to do that anymore. And uh, you know what? I'm quite enjoying the people that I've got to know over the last four and a half years as a Wild Roser. I can tell you uh, we have got some incredible candidates. I am uh, incredibly proud to serve with the people uh, in the legislature that I'm going to be serving. We're going to be busy, so you're going to see some tired MLAs, obviously. But yeah, no, we're we're staying put, and quite frankly, Frankly, people tell you if uh, if any of the people around here they uh, they don't want to face the wrath of me. So. Gary, what are the, what are those plans in terms of your retirement and how long you'd stay on? Well, I'm going to. You know, Life is funny. I uh, I know people have wondered about my early retirement, and uh, there was some discussion about that. I've had some medical issues in my family that I had to deal with. I had heart to heart with my husband, and uh, uh, he's asked me not to use his health as an excuse and stay strong and and uh, fight the fight for the next 16 months. And I'm going to do that. <laughs> I have to have Quill here, honestly, because he'd signal me where you guys were. So what do you do uh, about the official opposition? Because I think the Liberals are claiming they have equal. Uh, well, uh, I'll take that question. We did send a letter this morning, as host, I did as, as house leader, to the speaker, informing them that we have selected our new leader of uh, the Wild Rose, and we fully intend to be uh, to remain the official opposition. All precedents that are, are available out there clearly indicate in, in, a, in a situation like this that the existing official opposition retains that status provided they have a leader and we now have a leader and a very good one so we expect a ruling tomorrow. What's the first order of business? What do you have to do as a party right now? What's the next step? Well, I think, uh, I, and I don't want to speak for everybody else, some sleep would be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think, uh, uh, you know, uh, we have Christmas just around the corner, and uh, my family has said, uh, it's okay, Mom. <laughs> uh, we'll pull it together, to, uh, and it's okay if Santa forgot them this year. And, and so that's my priority. Our priority, obviously, as a party is uh, to stay strong. We've got lots of very important decisions that have to be made, and uh, we're going to give her. Uh, but we need a few days to just relax, and uh, uh, we need to reach out to Albertans, reach out to our candidates, find out uh, what the next step is, work with the party. I, I think more important than anything is talk to Albertans, obviously. Have you decided whether you'll go past the 16 months? Myself? I'm just hoping I can make it till tomorrow at this particular <laughs> time. Honestly, you know, like, uh, who would have thought, honestly, in my lifetime, I mean, I've been around a long time, and I hate to use that terminology, if I may, but uh, if you would have said a week ago we would have been having this conversation, I would have been asking you what you've been drinking. <laughs> and, uh, so <laughs> I haven't even had time to just reflect on what's happening, to be honest, and uh, you know what? This is going to be fun. I'm excited. I'm excited for 
the unbelievable uh, support that has come across. Uh, I'm excited about talking to our candidates. They're, they're just everybody's excited right now. And <laughs> it's, uh, you live on the energy at this particular time. So uh, I'm not going to make any other decisions. You mean to say Sorry, that Danielle uh, never told you at all, gave you any hint that she was going to do this? You know, there was some discussion about a merger, but uh, the floor crossing, though. No. Folks, just uh, well, one or two more questions. We got to get them off to a few meetings here. Well, Heather, is there any? Uh, do you have any idea that anybody who crossed the floor took any <coughs> anything that belongs to the Wild Rose Party with them beyond you know the knowledge they carry in their head? Did they take membership lists, fundraising information, anything like that? Uh, let's say I'm. I, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, and I would hope that integrity integrity prevails, and they didn't. Uh, we haven't checked into that. Uh, 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 I would hope not. Drew and Pat, have you made any decisions about whether you might be interested in seeking the leadership, or have you ruled it out? Any decisions on this point? Uh, Mike's. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Th thank you for the question. Uh, I am solely focused right now on be being behind Heather Forsyth, focused on, on rebuilding the wild roads throughout Alberta. It's absolutely been amazing how many Albertans have reached out to me in the last week, expressing concern that... Uh, that they believe strongly that good opposition had led to good government and the fact that uh, what had happened had damaged the, the process in general. So, so and, and all the good people in this room that have reached out, that's my focus for the next little while and uh, we'll see what the future brings. Maybe just one more for Shane or whomever. Just now that there's been a few days to kind of process what's happened after Danielle spoke with Premier Prentice last week, now that there's been some time, you have a new interim leader, can you, someone, just kind of describe <coughs> or kind of cumulative feeling towards Danielle Smith and the rest of the four crosses? <laughs> 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 I can. I think I can answer that one for you. You know, <laughs> The other day, nine of my colleagues grabbed each other's hands and jumped off a cliff. <laughs> 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 It's, it's been a difficult week, I can tell you, but uh, our group here and all of our candidates and all our supporters that we've been hearing from, we're all dedicated even more now. We're strong, we're alive, and we're going to keep holding this government to account, and we're going to carry on with the good fight as we always have. And someone asked earlier, do you think that um, we will be the official opposition? Well, we are the official opposition. Right. We have been the best yeah. official opposition. Yeah. And we will continue to be, we will continue to be the best opposition. Are you saying good riddance, Danielle? Is that, is that what I sort of heard you say? One last no, question after this. You know, uh, uh, what, um, people have to live with their decisions. It, it, it's, it's life. Uh, people pay the consequences for their decisions. I'm not going to say whether, uh, da that's up to D Danielle to see what, how she feels. I have thought long and hard about that. I'm more focused about moving forward than looking back and uh, that's what our candidates and Albertans have told us to do. So we're moving forward. When you, when you stew on something that just eats at you and drives you crazy and uh, I think this week sometimes I am crazy, but I'm moving <laughs> forward. <laughs> so, those who are joining us today, the Wild Rose Day candidate, the city of Calgary, Alberta, they have announced an announcement that they have been chosen for the interim leader. So, Mr. Fletcher, what do you think about the announcement today? You got the interim leader. I'm very excited uh, that we have the interim leader. Couldn't it be anybody better than Heather's? She, and you heard her speak. She spoke right from the heart. She, she meant exactly what she said. And uh, she got all that wonderful applause, and she deserves it. So we're going to move forward from here. So how's the future look like for Wild Rose Party? Oh, yeah. Well, it's going to be excellent. It's going to be excellent. We have a reader, uh, our leader now, and we also have some wonderful candidates. So we will, be, we, will be, uh, we, we will do well in the next election. There's no doubt. So you ran for the very tough ride in Calgary Elbow. Are you going to plan to run again? Well, I'm th I'm, I haven't decided yet, but uh, with a leader now that, uh, like we have, it just makes me more comfortable in making my decision eventually to run or not. 
ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮੱਚ ਦੋਸਤੋ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਹੈਪੀ ਮਾਨ ਜੀ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਬਾਲ ਰੋਜ਼ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਤੇ ਟਰਾਫੀ ਸਮੇਂ ਤੋਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਸਮੇਂ ਤੋਂ ਜੁੜੇ ਹੋਏ ਹਨ ਸੋ ਹੈਪੀ ਜੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਅਨਾਉਂਸਮੈਂਟ ਤੋਂ ਕੀ ਸਮਝਦੇ ਹੋ ਮੈਂ ਸਮਝਦਾ ਕਿ ਅਲਬਰਟਨਸ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਗੁੱਸਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਫਲੋਰ ਕ੍ਰਾਸਿੰਗ ਹੋਈ ਆ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੰਨਾ ਇਕੱਠ ਹੋਇਆ ਔਰ ਹੈਦਰ ਫੋਰਸਾਈਟ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦਾ ਇੰਟਰਮ ਲੀਡਰ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਤੇ ਜਿਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਅੱਗੇ ਵਧ ਰਹੀ ਆ ਇਹ ਡੈਮੋਕਰੇਸੀ ਨੂੰ ਜਿੰਦਾ ਰੱਖਣ ਲਈ ਇੱਕ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵੀ ਰਿਮੇਨਿੰਗ ਜੋ ਹੁਣ ਐਟ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਵਾਈਲਡ ਰੋਜ਼ ਕਾਕਸ ਆ ਉਹ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਆ ਔਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕਮਿਟਮੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਗੀ ਅਲਬਰਟਨਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਰਵ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਚੰਗਾ ਕਦਮ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਡੈਮੋਕਰੇਸੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਜਿੰਦੀ ਰਹਿ ਸਕੇ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਟਰਟ ਨੂੰ ਦੇਖ ਕੇ ਕੀ ਇਹ ਜਾਣਿਆ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਡੈਮੇਜ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਇਆ ਉਸ ਡੈਮੇਜ ਨੂੰ ਪਰਾਂ ਟਰਟ ਕੇ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਰੀਬਿਲਡ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਥਿੰਕ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਡੈਮੇਜ ਹੋਇਆ ਜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਐਨਾਲਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਬੇਸ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਉਹ ਮੈਂਬਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਤੇ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ 4-5 ਦਿਨ ਦਾ ਦੇਖੋ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਫੰਡ ਰੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਹਿਯੋਗ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਕਿ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਮੈਂਬਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਮੈਂਬਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਨਹੀਂ ਛੱਡੀ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਯਕੀਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਹੀ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਐ ਲੋਕ ਉੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਖੜੇ ਨੇ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਉੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਖੜੀ ਆ ਤੇ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਦਾ ਹੀ ਇਹ ਰਿਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਸੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਅੱਜ ਇਹ ਨਿਤਦਾਦ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਹੈਦਰ ਦਾ ਸਮਰਥਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਔਰ ਵਾਈਲਡ ਰੋਜ਼ ਕਾਕਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਦ੍ਰਿੜਤਾ ਅਪਣਾਈ ਆ ਤੇ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਰੀਬਿਲਡ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਤਾਂ ਉਦੋਂ ਲੋੜ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂਬਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਬੇਸ ਛੱਡੇ ਹੁਣ ਤੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਚੰਗੇ ਹੋਰ ਵਧੀਆ ਲੀਡਰ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਗੇ ਲਿਆਉਣ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਬੇਸ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਹੈਗਾ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਆ ਪਰ ਇੱਕ ਚੰਗਾ ਲੀਡਰ ਜਦੋਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਆਏਗਾ ਔਰ ਜਦੋਂ ਲੋਕ ਹੈਦਰ ਤੇ ਕਾਕਸ ਦੀ ਕਮਿਟਮੈਂਟ ਦੇਖਣਗੇ ਹੋਰ ਮੈਂਬਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਵਧੇਗੀ ਤੇ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਅੱਗੇ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਹੋਏਗੀ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਖੜੀ ਸੀ ਵਾਈਲਡ ਰੋਜ਼ ਦੀ ਮੈਂਬਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਕਾਫੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਆ 22000 ਤੋਂ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਨੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਹੁਣ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਰੇਸ ਆਊਟ ਇਨ ਨੇਚਰਲੀ ਹੋਰ ਲੋਟ ਵੀ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜਨਗੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਵਾਈਲਡ ਰੋਜ਼ ਦੇ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟਿੰਗ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਜਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਬਣਨਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਕੀ ਸੁਨੇਹਾ ਦੇਣਾ ਚਾਹੋਗੇ ਦੇਖੋ ਡੈਮੋਕਰੇਸੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਾਲਿਸੀ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਥੀਕਲ ਬਲੀਵ ਹੋਣਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਆ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵੀ ਵਾਈਲਡ ਰੋਜ਼ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਜੁੜੇ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਲਈ ਇਹ ਆ ਕਿ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜੇ ਰਹੋ ਔਰ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੋਕ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਲਈ ਇਹ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਆ ਕਿ ਹੈਲਥੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਡਿਸਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇੱਕ ਹੈਲਥੀ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਉਹ ਡੈਮੋਕਰੇਸੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਰੂਲਿੰਗ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੀ ਤੇ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਆਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਇਹ ਦੋਨੇ ਬੜੀਆਂ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਵਾਈਲਡ ਰੋਜ਼ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਐਥੀਕਲ ਅਪਰੋਚ ਹੈਗੀ ਅਲਬਰਟਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਰਵ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਆ ਵਾਈਲਡ ਰੋਜ਼ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਅੱਗੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਜੁੜੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਾਥ ਦਿਓ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਡੈਮੋਕਰੇਸੀ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਰਿਵਾਈਵ ਕਰਕੇ ਡੈਮੋਕਰੇਸੀ ਨੂੰ 